Welcome to Getting Started with Orchid. In this video, we're going to walk you through the steps to getting your Orchid profile set up. Before we begin, you will need to have registered for an Orchid account and have your CV details on hand. After you've signed into your account, the first thing we'll be doing is entering your biography. This is information about you, your career path, and your research interests. So here we have an Orchid profile open. Your biography is located over here. And to edit your biography, all you need to do is click on the pencil icon and start typing into this box. If your university staff profile is up to date, you can just copy and paste that information into the box like I've done here. And once you finish, just click on save changes. Next, we'll be adding your employment and educational qualifications. Adding your employment is important as it helps people identify you by affiliation. And this is particularly important if you have a common name. The employment section is located here beneath the biography. To add in your employment details, all you have to do is click on add employment and start filling out the form. Make sure you fill out all of the required fields, which is shown with a red asterisk. Once you've filled in the details, click on Add to List to save your changes. On the left-hand side of your profile, you will see a panel that contains a snapshot of some basic information about you and your research. You can edit your published name by clicking on the pencil icon over here. This is the name that will appear on your profile. You can also record other variations of your name under the also known as section by clicking on the pencil icon over here. This is useful if you've published under a maiden name or have variations in your initials. All you have to do is start typing your other name into this box like I'm doing here. To add more names, just click on the plus icon. Once you finish, just remember to click on save changes. The last thing we're going to do is add a backup email. This is important if you've registered with ORCID using your university email address. Because if you change institutions in the future and lose access to that email, you may have trouble logging into your profile. To register a backup email, go to your name on the top right hand corner of the page and click on the drop down menu. Then select account settings. Beside email and notification preferences, click on edit. In the add another email box, simply type in your backup email and click on add. You will need to verify the email account in Orchid by clicking on verify email. This will generate a verification email to that address. Once verified, you can choose to set this email as your primary email by selecting the make primary option. Congratulations! You have now got your basic information entered into your Orchid profile. To learn how to add works and to leverage your profile to the best of its ability, make sure you check out our other videos in this series. Don't forget, if you need help with your Orchid profile, get in contact with your academic liaison librarian.